So I've got Artisan software. Uh, it's running. I've just got a USB port that goes into the main uh, data control panel. And I've got 12 volt power. It's an old uh, laptop or uh, desktop power supply that I've uh, just converted that kind of runs everything that runs on 12 volts. So that's like the, uh, the cooling fan down below. Um, uh, certainly the the fidget modules that are inside this thing. I've got uh, one data panel that shows the speed of my um, airflow fan. So the, if you look at the front of the roaster, got some beans going in there right now, but this is just a, uh, a, a, a draft inducer fan from the furnace. And I've got a, uh, a, a variable speed controller hooked up to it. And so then I can use Artisan, I've got uh, both air and burner controllers on Artisan that will control both the uh, the temperature of my gas, and I've just got a, it's servo controlled, so it's an RC car servo that runs the gas valve in the back, and it also runs a variable speed controller that uh, that runs that fan. So that's how I can control both the temperature and the airflow um, that goes in this roaster. Everything's pretty much home built on this. I even. I even made the little sight glass myself uh, out of a piece of scrap aluminum and some uh, borosilicate glass. Inserted the temperature probes, got it all uh, wired up, and uh, it works great. I've done, uh, I don't know, maybe 20 different batches on it, and I'm, I'm just hitting first crack right now. So I'm gonna adjust my airflow settings here. I know that at first crack, I, uh, I jump my air up to about 50%, and I lower my lower my temperature a little bit. It's going red because my uh, my temperature threshold has gone way too high here. Probably should have been paying attention to that instead of uh, instead of recording. But uh, my bean temperature graph is still looking all right. Go ahead and turn that fan up a little bit higher. And turn my burner down. And now this should bring us to within, within the parameters that we want. <laughs> 